Freed, a real estate agent with Freed Home Team, powered by Keller Williams Platinum Partners. Today, I am at the office of Hearts and Home in Kansas City with the executive director, Jill Morgan. Thanks for joining me, Jill, or allowing me to come by. Thanks, Austin. It's a pleasure to have you. Yeah. Okay, so I've known Jill for a little while now, but this is a newer role for her, so I wanted to get some more information about Hearts at Home and um, share that with all of you guys. So first of all, Jill, describe a little bit about Hearts at Home and what the company does and what led you into this executive director position. Sure, sure. So Hearts at Home is an in-home care private duty nursing agency. So essentially we send out caregivers, CNAs to the homes to care for individuals, whether it be companion care or personalized care to meet their needs every day. And what really enticed me to this role was I'm just passionate about caring for the elderly. I saw a big need for keeping individuals in the home. And that's really my goal is to keep them as safe as they can be and at home for as long as they can be. Okay, very good. Um, so what sets you apart from other companies that provide the same service? Because there's a ton of them yes, out there. Yes. <laughs> and in fact, today I was actually out at an assessment and the lady was interviewing other companies, which I do encourage. And she told me the name of this company she was at or had interviewed with and I had never heard of it. Mm -hmm. So we came on this discussion and she said that when she reached out to the social work team at a hospital, they said there's over 80 different agencies just for in-home care, which is a little crazy in my opinion. Yeah. But I really take pride in how this company is ran, specifically Hearts at Home, is we're a smaller agency. So by small, I, we have a small team here in the office. There's only five of us here in the office. I have a team of 60 to 80 caregivers. It just kind of depends on the time and place of how many caregivers I have. And we always have right around 100 clients. So what that does is it allows us to provide more personalized care, spend more time, and definitely be more flexible on the schedules with the family and the client's needs. So I feel like that's super important to be able to provide the flexibility to the schedules and provide uh, basically what the families need. Right. So I'm sure that's a wide variety of what the families need. Mm -hmm. So again, that can depend on whether it's running the client to the pharmacy, taking them shopping, it might be more specific. Bathing them, making them dinner, dressing them, providing personal hygiene care, getting them in and out of bed during the day. So we can be very specific, or like I said again, we can just be a companion at the same time. Okay, very good. Um, so what is your motivation for doing what you do? So really my motivation every day is Obviously, as the executive director, I do what wear a lot of different hats during the day. But again, my, my primary motivation, what keeps me motivated is knowing that these clients are being taken care of. That we're keeping them out of the hospital. We're doing our best to keep them happy and satisfied. We're making it so that they can live in that home longer than what they originally probably could have done without this type of help. So just that satisfaction of knowing that we're helping these families stay safe and happy that really builds my motivation to keep doing this every day. That's great. Okay. What about your staff? How do you motivate and encourage them? Because you mentioned you have quite a few caregivers at any certain time. We do, yes. So keeping them motivated and feeling very appreciated can be a battle at times because I do have that many. So we have a raffle every month. So, and actually it's kind of a fun raffle that we do. It, there's three different categories depending on what they've done. So we have some caregivers that are willing to just keep working. No matter how many hours they've worked, they will go to the next shift if we're in a bite. Mm -hmm. We have ones that will drive wherever. It can be 60 miles and they'll drive. Wow. And then we have ones that just always go above and beyond. Like if grandma says that she the hair wasn't curled right, they'll go ahead and wash it and curl it again. So those type of things, they definitely need to be praised for because that's not necessarily what they have to do. It's what they want to do. So I make sure that they're rewarded for that. But then I also acknowledge all my other caregivers because that's equally as important. Even though I might not hear or see that they're doing these things, they're still going to work, they're still doing the best, they're still keeping that client safe. So I send out weekly motivational, um, inspirational emails to all of them, letting them know what a great job they've done, that I appreciate them, the families love them, to help them stay involved. And then I also have quarterly in-person meetings too. So that way we can see all of them too, which I find is very important. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
especially if they're traveling a lot, mm -hmm. don't come in here very often. Yes, definitely. Mm -hmm. So you mentioned traveling, you know, quite a ways. So how, what's your service area? Sure. So we're obviously both in Kansas and Missouri, and we cover eight counties all together. So mostly in the metro, but we can go down as far south as Miami County, and then we can go as far north as Cass County. Okay. Yes. Um, so what's something that maybe most people may not know about um, Hearts at Home? So Hearts at Home, obviously we're licensed to do basically the same as the other competitors. However, we are specializing in dementia clients. So with my vast background in dementia care, we're able to partner with the Alzheimer's Association and work through these clients that might have unspecified dementia or other types of dementia and are able to provide resources to those families and clients when they are in need of tips or services or specialized care, meaning our office. We can send out caregivers with trust, knowing that they know how to handle those situations. Perfect, that's a great yeah, thank service. You. Thanks. Um, so, any particular client that you can think of um, that is special to you, and I know there's probably quite a few, um, and then why they stand out in your mind. Well, that's, that's a hard one because I adore all of them. They're all definitely different in mm -hmm. many different ways, but this is a new client actually, okay. and she just won me over, and I hope they don't all see this because they'll be upset that I'm not talking <laughs> about all of them, but so I went out and met with her and her son, and little did I know that she was 103 years old. Oh, wow. 103. Wow. Yes, and a spitfire at that. So she lived in her son's home, and she had like a mother-in-law quarter, basically still attached in the home and everything. Mm -hmm. But she did her hair every day. She has a cocktail every night oh, before wow. she goes to bed. And she looked like she was probably 85 or 90. Just mm -hmm. her connection and her storytelling about 80 years ago was just incredible. Wow. So I told her I want to be her at 103, at 103. It was just very impressive. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I bet you get to meet all kinds of amazing people that have the greatest stories. Oh, definitely. And they always have stories about their homes because mm -hmm. most of them have lived in their homes for 50, 60, mm -hmm. 80 years. So you always want to know, why does your home look so good, first of all, being right. 80 years old? and why stay here and what's the story and there's always incredible stories of how these homes came to be and what the town looked like yeah. back in the day it's oh, always yeah. just nice to hear those stories yeah i didn't even think about you know what it looked like back in the day right you just think of how much things have changed you know mm -hmm. over the last 10 or 15 years and then definitely about 80 years ago wow okay anything going on right now that customers or clients should know about mm -hmm. Sure, so the big thing that we'll talk about real quick here is COVID. Yeah. So all of our caregivers are eligible to receive the COVID vaccine. I've been able to get them registered with KU Hospital, so they're on the wait list right now. So again, if they're registered, they can get it if they want to, but it's not mandated by my company. Okay. So with that said, even when they do get the vaccine, they still are required to wear the PPE, the masks, the gloves, and following the COVID protocols. So we'll maintain our safety and maintain those policies at this time, regardless if they get the vaccine or not. So that's the biggest thing that's going on is keeping everybody healthy and safe out there. Yeah, I'm sure that's impacted the business quite a bit and you know, people wanting to get more of the yes. services, maybe they're hesitant because mm -hmm. of COVID. Exactly, yes. So it's probably been an uphill battle all year. It has, definitely. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, you cover a very large area that you told us about, but what do you love most about the communities and the people that you serve? I would say the communities that we go into, and I'll refer to senior living communities, is despite COVID, I'll reflect back to COVID because it's been such a huge part and has impacted all of us in some way or another, is the communities that let my caregivers continue to go in despite not letting families go in. So that has given us the rapport with the community, knowing that we're able to serve during this crisis. But then we're also to reflect back on what happened while the caregiver was in the community, seeing the patient and take that back to the family. So since the family can't see them, they're thriving on that information from us. Right. So I feel like that's been very impactful of having the senior living communities let us in. But then the towns that we do go into, because we go into a lot of small towns. Right. And Towns are very particular on who they let in and who they don't let in. 
and I would say with some luck and, and some schmoozing a little bit, <laughs> meeting the right people in these towns, we've been warmly welcomed, I would Good. say. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you still need to be able to do what you need to do to take care of yes, those people. Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. Great. So uh, what's the best way for people to contact you if they personally are in need of your services or they have a family member that is? Sure. So there's a couple of different ways you can contact me. You can call our main office number here, which is the 913-440-4209, or you can email me directly, which is a long email. It's jmorgan at heartsathomeusa.com. Okay. Perfect. So, okay. Anything else you want to share with us about Hearts at Home or yourself? Uh, nothing that I can really think of. It's It's been a joy working here and home health, private duty is definitely a blessing. So it's something I encourage people to look into. Great. Well, thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate it and sharing so much information about Hearts at Home for everyone. Thank you for coming out. Absolutely. And thank you for tuning in. Again, I'm Austin Marie Freed, real estate agent with Freed Home Team, powered by Keller Williams Platinum Partners. If you are a business owner or you know of one that would like to be featured, please don't hesitate to reach out. And before you leave, be sure to hit the subscribe button so you get these emails, deals, and discounts delivered right to your inbox.